everyone today will learn place and place value of decimals. Before that, let's revise decimal place value chart, which we have already done in the previous video, which I'll share link in the description. You can watch that video before this for the introduction of decimals. Okay, let's revise the place value chart now. So this is the decimal place value chart. We have the places before decimal and after decimal. So remember, this is the midpoint. Now before decimal, we have the ones, tens, hundred, like we have done an Indian place value chart, international place value chart. This is exactly the same. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. It will go like that. And after decimal, we start with tenth place. T-E-N-T-H-S. Then hundreds place, then thousands place. Before decimal, we use capital abbreviations. And after decimal, we use small letters. So this is tens, this is hundreds, this is thousands. Now, we can write the tenth in the fraction form as well. So if the denominator is 10, then we call it tens. It means 1 by 10. And if the denominator is 100, it's hundreds. 1 by 100, denominator is 1000. Then we call thousands 1 by 1000. So this is a fractional representation of tens, hundreds, and thousands. And if I'll say about decimal representation, 1 by 10, we can write 0 0.1 for tens. For hundreds, we have 0 0.01. For thousands, we have 0 0.001. I have explained this in that introduction video in brief. You can see that video and can understand how these values come. Moreover, we have already done before decimal, we call this whole part. And after decimal, we call that decimal part. So this is the whole part, which we have done in the international system, both the ways. And after decimal, we have just the decimal part, or we can say the fractional part. In some books, they write after decimal, the fractional part, because of these fractions. Okay, let's go to the place and place value. So the question will be, write place and place value of underlying digit. We have the question here, 45.93. Now, this is the question. Before the place and place value, let's write the place value chart above the digits. So how we'll write, let's make a little, little distance between them so that I can write the places above that. So like decimal, above decimal, we'll write decimal. And before decimal, we'll write, this is once, this is Tens, capital O, capital T. And then after decimal, it starts with tens, small t, small h. So let's write that. So I have written the places above the digits. So there's above decimal, I have written decimal. Before decimal, ones and tens. And after decimal, I have tens, tens place and hundred place. These are the small letters. These are the capital letters. This is the whole part. This is the decimal part. Or either... Either you, you can use these shortcuts or you can make a table, which we have done already. This is decimal, ones, tens. Write the full forms, tens, hundreds. Then before decimal, we have five and four. After decimal, we have nine and three. Now, the question is, write place and place value of underlying digit. First, we'll write place. It means just the place of underlying digit. So place of nine is tens. So our place of 9 is 10s only. That's it. Without writing any value, we'll just check the place of 9. It is 10s. You can see from here or either from here. So it's your choice. Either you make this shortcut or either you make this table just to know the place of any underlined digit. Now, if I say place of 3, that is 100s. Place of 5, that is 1s. Place of 4, that is Tens, P-E-N-S. Okay, now let's talk about place value. This time you will be writing value as well. The digit as well. So place value of 9 is 9 tens. This time we are writing the 9 as well. Now in fractional form, we can write 9 tens. Tens means denominator will be 10. That means 9 by 10. And if I write the decimal form, that will be 0 0.9. Because this is the 10th place. You can see here. It's exactly after decimal. So 0 0.9. So this is the place of 9. This is the place value of 9. 
when they say place value you are writing the digit also when they are saying only place you are just writing the place moving further the question is write place value of each digit we have 567.429 we have this number now we have to write this uh, each place value of this number okay so for that either you use that shortcut method write down ones tens hundreds above decimal you write decimal and after decimal tens hundreds thousands or either you make this chart like this so decimal under decimal then before decimal we have seven six five seven is ones tens hundred after decimal we write tens hundreds thousands now let's write the place value of each digit now place value of 5 5 will be 500 one way other way is 500 zero, zero. so place value of 5 is 500 or we can say 500 zero, zero. now place value of 6 will be 6 tens or we can say 6060 six, place value of 7 will be 7 ones or we can say only 7 so now let's go to the decimal part or the fractional part. We have done the whole part, place values of each digit. Now moving to the decimal part. Okay, place value of 4. That will be 4 tenths or you can say 4 by 10 in fractional form because tenths means denominator is 10 or 0 0.4. Place value of 2 is 2 hundredths. That is 2 by 100 because the denominator will be 100 if we are writing hundreds and 0 0.02. You can see here after decimal we will write 0 and then 2. Now place value of 9 is equal to 9 thousands. That is 9 by 1000 or 0 0.009. So we are keeping 0, 0 here and 9. So making everything 0. So this is the decimal part. This is the whole part we have written. When you are writing the whole part, remember, forget about the decimal part. Just look this much. So, the 567. And when you are writing the decimal, forget this. So, this is 0 0.4 for 4, uh, for 10th place, 0 0.02 for 100th, 0 0.009 for 1000. This way, you can write the place value of each digit. If they say place, do not write the digits. Just write down the places. Okay, now it's your time to do some workout, giving you the question. That is, what is place value of 3 in 76.732? Uh, now, what you have to do, decimal above decimal, write down decimal. Here, ones place, tens place. The other side, tens place, multi, hundreds place, thousands place. I said place value. So, you'll be writing the digit as well. Write down the answer in the comment section. I will check how many of you have done it correct. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.